Hey guys, today we are going to be reading Too Many Frogs. Then we are going to make a really cool print using this story for inspiration. So let's get started. This book is by Sandy Asher and illustrated by Keith Graves. Rabbit lived by himself in the hollow of an old tree. He cooked for himself, he tidied up after himself, and at the end of each and every day, he read himself a story. It was a simple way of life. No fuss, no clutter, and Rabbit liked it. But one rainy evening, he heard a knock, knockity knocking at his door. It's Froggy, croaked a deep voice. Don't care for the storm. Rabbit opened the door. I was about to read myself a story. Love to listen, Froggy cried and hopped right inside. Don't mind, do you? I suppose not, Rabbit said. So Froggy listened while Rabbit read his story. Well done, he cheered when Rabbit had finished. Storm's ended too. Thanks for your kindness. Toodaloo. So Froggy really liked the story. Now that the storm's gone, he's leaving. The next evening, as usual, Rabbit finished dinner, tidied up, and sat down to read himself a story. But before he could begin, he heard another knock, knockity, knocking at his door. It's Froggy, croaked the same deep voice. Rabbit opened the door. I was about to read myself a story. I know, Froggy cried and hopped right inside. Love to listen, but first... Let's fix ourselves a snack. Or three. Don't mind, do you? I suppose not, Rabbit said. Do you guys really think Rabbit wants to be making a snack right now, or do you think he just wants to read? So Froggy hopped and popped and whipped and flipped and mixed and fixed a snack. Or three. Too much fuss, Rabbit thought. Rabbit's not feeling it, guys. But Froggy listened while Rabbit read his story. Well done, he cheered when Rabbit had finished. Snack's gone too. Thanks for your kindness. Toodaloo. The next evening, Rabbit finished dinner, tidied up, and sat down to read himself another story. But before he be could begin, there was that same knock, knockity knocking at his door. It's Froggy, croaked the familiar voice. Rabbit opened the door. I was about to read, he began. Oh, I know, Froggy cried and hopped right inside. About to read yourself a story. Love to listen. But first, let's get ourselves all comfy cozy. Don't mind, do you? I suppose not, said Rabbit. Skipped a few pages there. So Froggy fluffed and puffed and mooshed and smooshed and piled up billows of pillows. Too much clutter, Rabbit thought. But Froggy listened while Rabbit read his story. Well done, he cheered when Rabbit had finished. Bedtime too. Thanks for your kindness. Toodaloo. The next evening, Rabbit finished dinner, tidied up, and sat down to read himself a new story. But before he could begin, there was that knock, knockity, knocking again. It's Froggy! Rabbit opened the door. I know, Froggy cried before Rabbit could say a single word. You are about to read yourself a story. Love to listen. But first, meet the family been telling them all about you and your stories. Love to join us. Don't mind, do you? Rabbit looked at Froggy's family. Big frogs and little frogs. Dozens and dozens all wearing t-shirts. Frog family reunion. Too many frogs, Rabbit thought. Too much fuss. Too much clutter. Yeah, too much. But I do mind, Froggy, he said at last. 
You do? Froggy asked. I never invited you in, Rabbit explained. I never invited you to fix a snack. I never invited you to get all comfy cozy. And I never invited your family to join you. So I do mind very much indeed. Uh-oh, croaked Froggy. This will never do. Thanks for your kindness. Toodaloo. I think Froggy kind of overstepped his boundaries, but then Rabbit kind of hurt Froggy's feelings. Alone at last, Rabbit sat down to read himself a story. For one anxious moment, he waited for a knock, knockity, knocking at his door. It never came. Don't mind, do you? He asked himself with a chuckle. Most certainly not, he answered himself. He began to read. It was a good story. But something was missing. Snacks make a good story better, he thought. So he picked himself a snack and read on. It was a very good story. But something was missing. Pillows make a good story better, he thought. So he fluffed himself a pillow and read on. It was an exceptionally good story. But something was still missing. Also, look at his snack over here. He has a plate, and then he has cheese, celery, pickle, ice cream, and a cherry. That sounds like a good snack to you guys. Oh, does not sound great to me. Not a fan of that together. Rabbit blinked once. He blinked twice. And then he sighed. <sighs> it's Froggy, he told himself at last. He loves to listen. Rabbit opened his door. There sat Froggy and his family waiting patiently to say they were sorry. Never meant to be rude, Froggy said. Brought you a t-shirt. Frog family reunion. Thank you, Rabbit said. I was about to read a story. Would you like to join me? Love to listen, cried the frogs. They all hopped, big frogs and little frogs, dozens and dozens. Rabbit offered them a snack, or three. He helped them fluff their pillows. Then every frog listened while Rabbit read a story. Well done, they cheered when he had finished. So many frogs, Rabbit thought. Such mess, so much clutter. It was a different way of life, and Rabbit liked it. The end. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this story. And in just a second, we will get started making our super cool froggy prints. Hey guys, today Bennett and I are here ready to make another project with you. We are nearing the end of remote learning. So after today, we actually only have two more videos um, and then we'll be done. However, I have had some parents emailing me asking me about like if I would do any videos over the summer. If anybody is interested, please email me, let me know, and I will put your name on a list. And over the summer, I can make some more videos. If Bennett wants to help, he can help. And I'll make sure that I keep making videos for people that want them. So for today's project, we are making these super cool frog prints. We are kind of combining like um, the crocodile lesson that we did with the tin foil and print making. For this project, you will need some paper. If you have watercolor paper, it's best because it is a little bit thicker. Um, that my signals too. Oh, that's okay. We'll just, you can use grannies. Then you will need some thin cardboard, like from a cardboard box. What's this? Eh, we use this paper. I use this paper for something else. For recycling. So, you'll want to use some thin cardboard, like from a cardboard box or something. There you go. We'll have two pieces of this cardboard. We're gonna have one that we're gonna use to put our stuff on, and then we're gonna have one that we're gonna draw and cut out our frog from. Then you will want tin foil, markers, scissors, pencil, and glue. Ready to get started? Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, so we are going to use, I'm gonna slip this one aside for now. You're gonna use a pencil. I'm going to use a marker so people can see what I'm doing. 
And we are going to start off by drawing our frog on our piece of cardboard. Now, when we draw our frog, we want to draw it nice and big. We want it to take up like quite a bit of our cardboard because if we make it really small, our print's going to be really small and it's going to look silly. All right, so to start making our frog, we are going to make like an egg shape, kind of like we did when we made our dinosaur eggs. Actually, I don't like the way that is. That's how. So remember, when we make our egg, you can start off by doing like the smiley face part and then up and over. So, a nice egg shape, just like that. Hold on. All right. Next thing we want to do is, there you go. Next thing we want to do is we want to add some legs. So for the legs, we're just gonna go like that. I'm just gonna make it go. We're gonna do one on each side. So it should look like that. Perfect. Nice job. Then we're gonna add feet. Now for the feet, it's basically just gonna be like some big W's coming out from his body. So it's gonna go down, up, down, up. See that, Bennett? Perfect. And then we're gonna do one more on the other side. Down, up, down, up. Up, down, up. Perfect. Oh, no, no, not again. Perfect. All right, so we have that. We're not gonna be worried about drawing anything inside of him yet, like his eyes and things like that, because right now it'd actually be kind of pointless. Next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw two circles somewhere else on the page or on your cardboard. So you could do like a circle right there and right there. Perfect. And those are gonna be his eyes. Now we are going to take our scissors and- Kinda looks like a snail. A total. Kinda. We are gonna take our scissors and we are going to cut this all out. Then it appears I'm gonna quickly draw over the parts that you need to cut. That way you don't get confused. There you go. So trace, cut out over my black line that I traced. Now, when you're cutting. This one's easy. Is it? When you're cutting, you need to cut very slowly because this frog has so many like weird things to it. It's not like just quickly cutting out a circle or a rectangle. We have a lot of curves and a lot of things like that. So, remember how sometimes I said it's oh. easy? Oh. Sometimes you might need to like just kind of cut off little pieces like that. And then I can go in, I can cut like that and that. Oh, Bennett's doing a nice job. He's working on his feet first, and that's probably the trickiest part. That's the how this step I'm doing it for. Yeah, nice. Remember, cutting is Oops. not a race. Slow and steady. I think my piece will fall off. I think piece will probably fall off, right? Yeah. And see, and again, whenever I cut, like I kind of cut off like random pieces and I go back in and cut the rest because it just makes it easier. I'm not doing that. You're just cutting along the line? Mm -hmm. Whatever is easiest for you, my dude. Whoa. Okay, I did it. I did it. Holy cow, you already got the whole thing cut off? <laughs> yes. That was fast. All right. After you get this cut out, cut out your two circles as well. Two cut paper so. Hmm? Oh, you forgot one of your legs. <laughs> it's okay. We can add it on whenever we glue things to the other side. I'm going to kill him. Okay. Cut off, cut out your two circles here. That was too big. No, it's big. Cut, no, you need to cut those out. Is that all? Sure. Now when you cut off your circles, when you cut out your circles, you need to go nice and slow. No, not really slow. 
Because I'm feeling kind of slow. Gabby. Careful. Let me do that again. Careful doing it. That, it's painful, but look how it sounds. It's, like. it's cardboard. It just has one side pink. All right. Yep. Nope. That's paper. All right. So we have our eyes and our froggy all cut out. Now. This does not look like a frog. Something happened to the ears. What happened? He <laughs> probably cut the frog. I think he accidentally cut his little little feet off there. That's okay. It's okay. We will just. That's mine? Yeah. There we go. It'll be okay. It looks like a duck now. <laughs> kind of. Alright, where are your this eyeballs? One wing? Where are your eyeballs? <laughs> I don't know. I think I cut my eyeballs off. Here, I'm going to let you use mine. Why? So that way you have some nice circular eyes. You are going to take your two eyes and you are going to glue them to your frog. I'll just quickly show you on mine and then I'm going to give them over to Bennett so he can use them. So you're going to add your eyes like that. Uh, <laughs> Look, it just has one wing. Did you forget my wing? It's its leg, you goofball. Frogs don't have wings. Alright. I picked it up and look what happened. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I right. think, uh oh, I did my eyeball off. Oh, well, put it back on. Make sure. Glue them back on so they're nice and stuck on there. I put lots of glue. There we go, right? Nice job. I'm gonna put my eyeball like right next to me. Look at it. Look at it now. It kind of looks like an owl. Oh my goodness. And my feet came yeah, off too. Let's spread them out a little bit. My feet came off too. Came off too. All right. So now, next thing we need to do is. Look. I see the glue. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to glue our froggy <laughs> to our big piece of cardboard. So I'm going to help Ben with his. If you accidentally cut off a piece, this is where you can glue it Why back is on. Why coming off? Because it's paint. All right, Ben, put some glue on the back of this. Put some glue on the back of that. Because we're going on the back of your frog. I don't we're have glue. There you go. We're gonna glue it onto this piece. That's good. That's good. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right, squish it down. There you go. Squish, squish, squish. You're squishing my <laughs> finger, you goof. All right, and then I'm gonna take the glue and I'm going to put uh -oh. it on his leg. Let me see it. Nice and good. And I'm going to glue his little leg back Look, on. now my finger suck. It's kind of suck. Look. Finger stuck. It kind of suck. Look. Oh, my goodness. I don't, will you help me get this out? I think if you it, can do it. I'm going to hold it for a little bit. What, what happens if I hold it for a little bit? Fingers are going to be glued together forever, for I guess. Maybe. Uh-oh. All right. Come on, glue my finger. No. Next thing we need to do is the most important part. Are you ready for this, Bennett? Mm -hmm. All right. We are going to be taking some foil. Hey, yeah, I put some glue. And we need to cover up our paper with it. So, Next one. or our, not paper, our cardboard. So, the easiest thing to do with this is lay, uh -oh. my hand. lay your paper like that. All right, now watch this spinning. We're gonna flip it all over. All right, so let's flip it all over. What's gonna happen? Now we need to wrap it. Wrap it up like a present. All right, oh, now we're gonna fold that in. There you go. I have a present for you, Gabby. Oh, thank you. What is it? Nothing. Make sure you get this side too. 
what we are going to be using to make our print. Kevin yeah. made a present for you. Open it. Well, I don't want to open it now. You goof. All right, flip it over. Now, this is the part that you need to be No, no, no. You're going to rip the card or the aluminum foil, and then you'll mess up your thing. You need to take your, you need to take your finger. Let me see. Point your finger up. Actually, I'm going to grab a piece of, I'm going to grab a napkin. Because I did this earlier and it didn't work really well because I rubbed my hands all over it and our fingers have like oil and dirt on them. And so I got oil and dirt all over this and it got messed up. So you're going to take, no, don't put your hand on it. You're going to take this piece of napkin and yeah, you're going to run it over the entire thing. Don't press down too hard, but you want to be able to see the outline of your froggy. I don't know if you can see that over there in the video. Take, like, kind of use your finger. So instead of like rubbing your whole hand, take your finger and do that over the whole thing. Oh, yeah. It's a five. Oh. You got glue on it. You got glue everywhere. Oh, my goodness. All right. That should be good. Let's look at it. Perfect. All right. That doesn't look like a ball. So, well, yeah, now we need to do the coloring. So now we're going to do the coloring. Now, when you this color. This is my thing that kind of looks cool. When you color, do you want to use green for your frog? Mm -hmm. When you color, use the side of the marker and try to stay. Okay, the side. Well, you goofball, you know what I mean. When you're coloring them in, do this. And it should be kind of easy to Let's stay in the this. line. Don't do that. You'll mess up the marker. So color in your frog. Don't color in his eyes. We'll leave those and we'll color them in differently. And then also, okay. it's okay if you did. Or we can just go. Whoop. And don't color the outside. Make sure that you're staying just in the frog with your green or whatever color you're making your frog. I'm making my frog blue. So. Frogs are not blue. There frogs are some are frogs that are blue. But poison tree, poison dart frogs. But you know what? What? The mostly green. There are a lot of green ones, but there are some red ones and orange ones and yellow ones and blue ones. I never thought of one. All right. Get it all nice and colored in. If you get it outside, it's okay. Yeah, if you get it outside, it's okay. You can just take your finger and just wipe it away. All right. Oh, get this little part right up here in between the eyes. When you're done coloring in your frog, Go ahead and get a different color and color in your background. I don't know what background is. So the background is all the part that's outside of the frog. So that's any, e anything that's not the frog or the, oh, no, we don't want that yet. Anything that's not the frog or its eyeballs. Still not going to color in the eyeballs. All right, so see uh -oh. the background. Inside. Oh, no, that, that's all right. That, that was good. Yep, fix that part. And then we are coloring in the background a different color. What's the background? The part that's not the frog. So see how I'm coloring, I'm coloring the outside part? And I'm not coloring in his eyes. We're still not coloring in eyes. I cannot say that enough. I'm using gray. Nice. Uh, it's all right. It's not sewn up. Well, yeah, because it's gray. and. Oh, I'll paint on okay, no boys. Okay. But I'm going to make some colors, can I? Yeah, you can make some colors. What will happen? I don't know. You'll have to find out. Yep. Try to color in as much of the background as you can. It's not making anything. Well, yeah, it might not really mix because, like, the aluminum foil kind of lifts it up. It's kind of weird. Whoa, this one's so yeah. So see right Look here. Very co closely. Whoa. So these little splotchy parts, that's where I touched it with my hand a lot, and that's why it's doing that. Um, if you kind of go over it a little bit, like after it dries a little bit, you can kind of cover it up some. Um, but yeah. Again, try to just color in the entire background. I'm already done. You're already Almost. done. Look. Holy cow. I know it's mine good. Does this look good? It does. Alright. 
kind of towel. While Bennett's finishing up coloring his, I'm going to grab some water. I'm going to color up all the things. I don't care if I get it on the table. Well, try not to get it on the table. We can clean it, but try not to get it on the table. Okay, look at mine. Look how cool it looks. Holy cow. Nice. All right. Look how shiny that is. So now we have our frogs done. I'm going to just color in just a little bit more yours right next to the frog. That way it'll pop out a little bit more. Really try to get the parts right next to the frog. Especially the eyes. The eyes are the most important part that you want to get. All right. You ready for this next part, Bennett? Mm -hmm. This next part is just like what we did when we did our aluminum foil um, crocodiles. We're going to take a sponge. Yep. And we're going to put water on our paper. Yeah. Flip it over. We don't want that side. All right. Squeeze it out. Pick it up, squeeze it out. Perfect. That's good. No. Put it all over your paper. What will happen? It's going to make your paper wet. Ew. Just here. All right, that's good. Put it in the bowl. Now, we're going to take our print, and you're going to place it down on Let's there. Let's see what it does. All right, careful. Don't let it move around. Take your hand and very gently get it all squeeze. All right, let's see how it turned out. Yeah, do it, do it. Ready? Okay. We missed a little part. <laughs> now we. Let's, let's see if we can push down a little bit more right here. Okay, I'll do it. The part near the eye is the part where we have to press down the most because it's hard for that part to reach the paper. There we go. We got it a little bit more. Let me see if I, what mine looks like. We're going to let it dry for just a minute. After it has dried, one second. After it has dried, then we can go back with our markers and we can draw in the mouth and the eyes. And if we wanted to, we could even draw in some flies, things like that. All right, let's see. How do you think mine's going to look, Bennett? Good. All right, do you see it? Mm -hmm. So that's what it looks like right now. Again, you'll want it to dry, and then whenever it dries, then you can go back. Look at my little fly. I know. Lives. Then we can go back and we can add the eyes, the mouth. If you want, you can add a fly, anything like that. Mine's already dry. No, it's not dry yet. Also, when you're done, you can wipe off your sheet. Look at my hand. And now we can do it again if we want. So, that's today's project. Pretty simple, nothing too crazy. I hope you guys liked it. Did you like this one, Bennett? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Awesome. All right, guys. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See ya.